it is the fourth day here but the actual third full day um here in turkey the weather isn't looking too good guys isn't looking too good i mean it's not sunny it's just quite cloudy as you can see um which is not what we want when you're on holiday but we've got to keep optimistic um and i like how my outfit really contradicts that you know with the with the orange and with the with the nice warmth of that yesterday as a, you know as you've seen we went to all of the beautiful mosques we've still got a few to actually go to today and then we're going to go to the grand bazaar um and just kind of see what we've got there you know the outfit i've got for a nice cute little dress um with this nice chocolate brown scarf uh, and my hand always hurts i feel like i've just gone so weak and also guys like i've realized that i get really tired now but yeah we're gonna head off soon it's really hard to vlog so if you don't see a lot of footage of me actually speaking i'm sorry about that there will be footage of things that i see and stuff like that but um it's just quite hard to always get the camera out and like film because i'm still not at that level yet i'm a bit of a scaredy cat <laughs> We then headed off to the Ayyub Sultan Mosque. This was actually located in the Ayyub district of Istanbul. It is a very special place. Um, it holds the tomb of Ayyub al-Ansari. Ansari meaning aiders in Arabic. He was actually one of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him's companions um, who actually supported the Prophet after he migrated to Medina in 622. He came here and we did a few prayers, but honestly, it was a really peaceful um, and special moment for us. We then visited the Fatih Mosque. Um, it was actually named after the conqueror, Sultan Mehmed, who actually conquered Constantinople in 1453. As always, the architecture of all of the mosques in Istanbul are immaculate. I mean, from the local mosques to the infamous mosques in Istanbul, you will see it be beautifully, beautifully made. Literally just outside the mosque, and you get to see the whole city of basically Istanbul and it's just so beautiful guys wow you can see the Galata tower literally right there from a distance and then you've got the other buildings the fact that a lot of these mosques were made during the Ottoman Empire absolutely wows me Just beside the mosque, um, near the courtyard, there is also a burial ground. Here lies the tomb of Suleiman the Magnificent alongside his family. We prayed for them um, as they were a key part of bringing Islam to Turkey. We then went to a shopping mall called Historia. Pretty much looks exactly like the shopping centres here in the UK. And then we went to have some pizza hut um, and had a nice ice cream to end the day. Hello, today unfortunately is the last day in Turkey, uh, which is pretty sad because honestly, I'm not going to be waking up to this view anymore. Um, it's about 10 something now. We had breakfast and we're just going to like close our suitcases and then we're going to leave. And actually, we didn't go to 
the two main areas or places yesterday. The two places we wanted to go to, which was Top <laughs> Top Sorry, <laughs> which was Top Cappy Palace um, and the Grand Bazaar. We actually didn't have time to go to because apparently one closed at four, one closed at six, which is a bit weird in my opinion because it's like you know touristy areas should be open too late but we move so today that is our mission is to go to those two areas and then hopefully be back at the hotel to collect our bags um because we ain't going to be carrying our suitcases with us absolutely not um and then our taxi guy will be here for 6 50 and then we'll get to the airport and hopefully we have a smooth journey and we get to saudi and everything goes smoothly because that is something that i'm really scared about we're basically going to go to Mecca and medina for about 10 days um and yeah we're actually going to go for umrah which is really exciting but yeah, really nervous at the same time. So, Turkey trip come to an end, but it doesn't mean we're going home as of yet. We've still got another journey that we that awaits us. So yeah, um, I'll kind of vlog a bit throughout the day again. I'm sorry, I'm not able to kind of like show my face and like talk to the camera. You know, we're doing a lot of walking um, and it's just kind of hard to kind of film as well, especially because like, you know, you don't want to get the family in, but then it's like, oh, so yeah. Anyways, um, I'm gonna quickly, Close my suitcase and then we'll be out. The best thing about Istanbul is that everything is super close and is in walking distance. So as we were traveling towards the Top Kapi Palace, we get a beautiful sight of the Hagia Sophia. And honestly, as with every other mosque in Istanbul, you can never get enough. Here we are in the courtyards of the Top Kapi Palace. Um, and as you can see, it was such a beautiful sunny day. Um, so the Top Kapi Palace was actually the residence of the Sultans up until the 17th century. Now the palace has actually become a museum where it simply showcases the collections of the sultans um, and a lot of history of the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> As you can see, this is pretty much the all of the utensils that they had used at the time. What you can see now are the kitchens at the palace. This holds a lot of important documents of the Ottoman dynasty, although now the important documents are entrusted to the museum. This is the privy chamber um, in the fourth courtyard, which holds relics of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, um, and even family members along with other important individuals and prophets. For example, Moses' staff. It also included the chamber of the blessed mantle. This was actually kept in a golden box, um, which we're not able to actually see. The sultans, along with their viziers, officials and daughters, would visit the chamber every Ramadan. And of course, the Grand Bazaar. It is actually the oldest and largest market in the world. It has 4,000 shops and covers 61 streets. Well, that's it guys. That concludes my trip to Turkey with the family. But that is not the end because we're now heading off to Saudi Arabia, to Mecca and Medina, the most beautiful, beautiful place in the entire world. Um, a place where we spiritually heal ourselves and strengthen our faith. It is my first pilgrimage, so definitely a new experience. Stay tuned for the next video and let me know what you guys think in the comments below.